Hey YouTube, this is Dan with Jason Wynn, and what I've got for you today is a really neat little quad, the TRQ510 from Top Race, and I believe there's only a couple of videos on this quad. Mine might be the third or fourth. Um, there's one by the Frequent Flyer, and then another really good channel, that's BSRC. Uh, both have done excellent reviews on this, better than I will do on it. But I wanted to bring this quad to you because I'm very excited about it. Um, fantastic flyer. I want to tell you right up front, um, if you're considering a little quad about this size, go out and get it right now. This thing is super, super fun. It's super stable. It's got three rates. No matter which rate you fly it in, it's super stable. And what's really cool about this quad is that in the first rate, it's extremely slow yaw, extremely shallow pitch and roll and perfect for the beginner and then in medium rate it's quite a bit better still super uh, stable so and then in high rate again super stable but really fast extreme pitch on it uh, the pitch is so extreme on it that you will not be able to hold that pitch else you'll uh, run it right into the ground uh, the pitch is that uh, extreme on it but this is a really fast little quad is nimble even in high rate the uh, yaw is not super fast on it uh, but with the extreme pitch you can do some super sharp turns on it and um, I've, I've had this uh, this quad a couple days now I've flown it uh, three times and I'm just in love with it this is really fantastic I have to thank uh, BSRC for recommending this quad um, he was absolutely right there's uh, there's not much to not like about this quad and there's quite a bit to like about it. This is a camera bird. See there's a little camera right there. It came with a 4 gigabyte uh, micro SD card that goes right there. And But I will tell you and I'll try to, I'll, I will roll in some video that I took. Um, the video is absolutely useless on this. Not because it's a super bad quality. The quality is just so-so. But flying this around even being really shallow with it and everything the camera is at such an angle that all you get is the ground um, even when you're up and you're trying to do a yaw with it any slight pitch at all all you're going to get is the ground you won't get much else so that camera is in effect useless on this camera and as such it's creating additional weight and chewing through the batteries uh, faster than it should running the camera you get maybe five minutes not running the camera you might get an extra minute maybe six minutes on this but I'll tell you for those six minutes this thing is a pure joy to fly and I haven't been this excited about a little quad in a very very long time it comes with a uh, 350 milliamp battery um, these are pretty much standard batteries you can find them just about anywhere for a couple bucks three or four bucks and uh, uh, I will tell you though it uh, I've never felt a battery so hot when it comes out of this quad it is super hot um, so those motors are really taxing these batteries uh, it's, it's hot enough to where it's, it's a little uncomfortable to touch right at first so you gotta sort of let it uh, uh, cool down for a few minutes before you take it out and uh, also let it cool down at least five minutes between flights as well it looks like that battery is completely fried I've already uh, flown with it and uh, this is where it's at. It's got a little door that latches here. And then you open that door up. And then the battery comes out. Unplug it. And then right here is an on-off switch. Well, I really, really like that on-off switch. So this is the uh, controller that you see here. Nice controller. Let me turn this off. And uh, what I like about this controller is everything is labeled. So you've got your speed control. Uh, high rates one, two, and three. You want to do uh, it says turn, but they, what they really mean is flip. You have to push and hold the button. Don't let go of it. Push and hold, and then flip in the direction you want. And if you hold that, it will do multiple flips until you let go. Uh, you got your standard uh, trim <clears throat> and roll for your yaw and pitch. And then not sh these but these are fake buttons here. This one turns the lights on or off. This one will take a photo. This one starts to stop the video. So, a uh, really good controller, and also it's got a great range on it. I flew this thing out about 80 yards, 90 yards, no problem, 
and uh, so it's got a great range on it uh, no dropouts in the signal in the three flights I've had with it and again just an all-around great flyer now let's go roll in some uh, video of uh, me flying this quad This is a pretty fast little quad. This is a Top Race TRQ 510. Got a stream pitch on it. In fact, you cannot hold it at uh, full pitch and uh, and high rate because uh, it eventually will hit the ground on full pitch. Really neat uh, flying quad. As far as I know, there's only really been like two reviews of it. And that was by the Frequent Flyer and also uh, BSRC. And I don't know why. It's a great little quad. It's a great flyer. Looks like a little red flying egg. I call it the Red Webo. But it's uh, the TRQ 510 by Top Race. And I really, really don't know why there's not more reviews on this. Because it's a ton of fun to fly. That's a yaw rate right there and high rate. Not real fast. But with that extreme uh, pitch it's got on it, you can turn quickly. Got these cool looking little red eyes if you get up close on it. Look how stable this thing is. Just really stable. Nice little blue lights in the back. White in the front. Not super visible though. Battery's getting a little sluggish on it. Go through batteries pretty quick, and I'm not using the camera yet on it. I will demonstrate the camera. Whoa. <laughs> Fun little quad to fly. This is only my second flight with it. So I'm still getting used to the flight characteristics. And I think really the only place I can find this for sale is the uh, Amazon website. I think I paid around $50 for it. What I'd like to do now is demonstrate flips for you. interesting let's try that again bring it down closer okay I see whoa okay it'll do if you keep holding the button, it does multiple flips. But you've got to hold the button and push the uh, pitch roll. You can't just push the button and then push it. You have to hold the button down to get it to flip. 
Good thing it's got soft landing feet on it. <laughs> cool. Nice little flipper. Does tight flips. And I'll go ahead and try to roll in some video. like the uh, lights in the front, the white lights flashed when I turned the video on. I'll try to take it sort of nice and easy and slow, keep the video somewhat stable. Let me put it in low rate. Wow, pitch is super shallow on low rate. Oh my god. The turn is extremely slow. I don't think I've ever seen a quadcopter with a turn that slow on low rate. But I'll tell you what, for uh, beginners, man, this is your quad right here because uh, the uh, yaw on that and the uh, pitch roll on that is super shallow but super stable for the beginner. See, full back, full forward, full left, or full right and full left. That is just really slow. And uh, see if I can do a, a yaw on it. Look at that. Oh my God, it's slow. All right, enough of uh, that. Let's go to medium rate. Okay, much better pitch and roll on it. Yaw still slow, but not painfully slow. And uh, again, great for the beginner because as they uh, develop their skills, they can just go up in rates and this quad copper is super stable in all the rates. And then back to high rate. Let me get out of the road here. Oops, there goes the battery. Good thing that car didn't run me over. <coughs> no, that's not the sound of my quad. <laughs> anyway, so the battery really got chewed through with the uh, minute or so, two minutes of uh, video that I did on this. So this is the Top Race TRQ 510. What a great little quad. Really cool looking. I like the color on it, the red and the black, the legs. Looks like an egg, so I call it the Red Webo. Got those uh, red flashing lights. And one thing I really like about also too, it's got an on-off switch, so you can plug the battery in and then uh, turn it off. You see this door, it doesn't stay closed. Uh, that's a really tight fit with those wires in there and they try to keep it closed and I think one of the little bounces on the ground popped it open. I think uh, BSRC took his door off. Looks pretty simple to do. It does come with a uh, prop guard and that was easy. It just kind of squeezed it and removed it. You no know, tools needed. So great little flyer though. I, uh, you can get it from Amazon. I'll put a link in the des video description where you can get it. and. Um, I think it would be even more of an aggressive flyer if it didn't have that camera in it. And uh, if that camera doesn't take very good video, I'll probably end up taking, I'll try to take it out. Um, and I'll also put a link into uh, free, the Frequent Flyer and that BSRC on their videos. I believe will be about the only two or three videos there are of this neat little quad. So this is Dan with Chasing Wind signing out and I'll catch you on the next video.